good evening. <laughs> well, for those of you who still uh, actually believe in the election process uh, in the United States, then in that case it might be a good idea for you to contact your Congress members um, very, very soon, like today or tomorrow or a very, at the very least on Monday. And if you cannot take that action to at least call and make that effort, then it probably hasn't, um, it probably doesn't matter to you anymore anyway. Um, I will try to make that effort myself. I'm not sure whether it will succeed or not. It is the least I can do. I'm not out on the streets demonstrating. I'm not laying my life on the line at this point. If things deteriorate any further, I'm afraid that there um, isn't much left of um, this republic. So, how does a, a president govern when he has lost almost all respect? George Bush is giving us a pretty good lesson right now. The only way he can continue his agenda of destroying the Constitution is by using fear and intimidation. And the only way he can succeed is if Congress keeps caving in to the administration's underhanded scare tactics. So, as I say, if you still believe in the election process and if you still believe that it might do some good, some good, then you, the very least you should do is contact your member of Congress and look up, inform yourself, you know. If you really care about the situation, at least inform yourself enough who your member of Congress even is. And if you can't do that much, <laughs> Well, there certainly isn't much left to do. Um, if you don't know who represents you in Congress, either either you know in the House or in the Senate, um, and if you just want to watch YouTube for entertainment, you know that's that's fine. You'll have to live with the consequences after that, and. Um, We'll, we'll probably uh, get a government that uh, w that we deserve. Actually, we already have it. So, um, so call these members if you still believe, if you still have a little bit of hope. Call these Congress members and and relentlessly every day. You have 800 numbers out there, congressional switchboards. Look up the number. Do some work on your own. Don't just sit around. It doesn't take much effort, you know. You have an internet connection. Look it up. Find out who your member of Congress is and call them every single day. Not as part of a, a political action committee, but just as an ordinary citizen. And let them know that they're not going to get your vote if they do not stand up for your beliefs, which necessarily would include the restoration of habeas corpus in this country. Habeas corpus is the foundation of law on which this nation was founded. And on top of that, um, Congress members should make a pledge and a vote, a vote most of all, not just a pledge actually, a vote to close Guantanamo Bay prison. This is abhorrent. And to end torture in any way or to even support it in any way as a national policy. This is this goes against the principles of the founding fathers of this nation. We we have um, practically uh, trashed everything at this point and it has to be restored and any Congress member that votes against this on record and you should look up those records and make that effort please then they should not get our votes period 
So, sorry, my phone's ringing. <laughs> Little break here.